I don't have much time. My name is Zhao Chiang, and and uh, my group is entrusted to a project, a presentation actually about about animal behavior. And since I don't have much time, I'll introduce my group mates first. In order of appearance, it's Audrey Amelia, uh, uh, Tan Li Ting, Ivan Li, Ang Li Sing, and Deborah Sia. We're supposed to do a project, a presentation, in fact, uh, about, about... Ah! <laughs> are among the world's most misunderstood pets. Incarnations in popular culture like Bugs Bunny, the Easter Bunny and Alice in Wonderland's White Rabbit have effectively besmirched the names of these beautiful, beautiful creatures. Take this little critter for example. Ain't she gorgeous? We are here to clear up some myths about rabbits and to clarify a rabbit's behavior. Take this footage for example, Crikey! Rabbits are not rodents as commonly perceived. They were originally considered as rodents, but not anymore. Not since 1914. They are now part of the order Legomorpha. So scared. It's been changed. They're not rodents anymore. They're not rodents anymore. Yes. Rabbits in popular culture are commonly portrayed as to always nibbling on carrots. Take for example, this guy over here. Yes, yes, sorry. Um, or from a more vivid example, I guess I could quote Bugs Bunny. This, however, is not a very healthy pastime for rabbits. I mean, yeah, the occasional carrot should be fine, but many carrots at once. Carrots are really high in sugar. It will just make them fat, obese. Rather, they'll make them obese, and when they're obese, they have health problems, which may lead to more drastic health problems. So basically, don't feed your rabbit that many carrots. <laughs> Most rabbits that live in the wild, they live in underground burrows. And they have mazes, complex mazes of tunnels. And then they burrow for themselves. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Rabbits are nocturnal creatures. That means they are more active at night now. They are more active now. In 
It's also stated that rabbits are naturally prey in the wild. Wait a minute. Prey in the wild? Why do rabbits bite wires? In the wild, rabbits live in underground burrows. Roots grow through the burrows and block access to the burrows. So wires represent the roots growing through the burrows. Therefore, rabbits would bite through the wires to clear the roots. However, However, it's not the only yeah, thing it's they not bite. The only thing they bite. Hey, why are you so slow? Do rabbits eat their shit? Well, no they don't. What they eat are sickles. Sickles are nutrient rich. Why do rabbits eat the sickles? It's because the rabbit's digestive system isn't efficient enough to extract all the nutrients during the first cycle. Therefore, it has to go through the cycle a second time for all the nutrients to be extracted. Rabbits are highly territorial creatures. They mark their territory by firstly, pooping, secondly, spraying, and thirdly, chinning. Chinning is when they rub their chin on objects or places that they mark. This is because they have sweat, no, scent glands under their chin. Yeah. Okay. In the wild, rabbits live in mazes of complex underground burrows which protect them from predators and the weather. That's why pet rabbits like to burrow. Rabbits groom themselves frequently because they need to keep their fur neat and clean. Rabbits also have a very keen sense of smell. That's why their nose are always twitching. And groom they will. In a way, rabbits are somewhat similar to cats. They dislike water as well. Showering a rabbit may lead to severe consequences. It may even result in the death of the rabbit due to stress. In fact, rabbits spend a lot of their waking hours ensuring they look smart and neat. A very vain creature, one might say. To counter their fear of water, the smart rabbit will actually clean itself, licking its paws and wiping its face, for example. Stray strands of fur are plucked out by the rabbit, ensuring a neat coat. Groom, 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 when will you stop? Oh wait, he stopped. No, he hasn't. Has he? Ah, he said it again. Still at it. Still at it. He stopped. Rabbits are nervous creatures. Therefore, even when they sleep, their, hide, their eyes are half open. How do you know your rabbit's sleeping? Well, it's no stop twitching. This is a sleeping rabbit. Not only are its eyes half closed, it also nestles in a corner in a neck shaped fashion. This is because it feels secure in its environment. A rabbit will usually express this behavior after it has settled down in its environment. When a rabbit is sleeping, the slightest stimulation will wake it up. Therefore, take care to be as unstartling as possible when around a sleeping rabbit. This is an example of a rabbit that is awake. Notice how its nose twitches continuously. This and my rabbit. Are she cute? When a rabbit is nervous, it keeps its ears tilted back with, with the opening facing out. This is usually accompanied by a stunt which leaves the rabbit ready to flee. This may also include ducking its head. They will raise its head periodically to scan the area around it or its senses. This is because the rabbit wants to be on alert. This will give it a nervous look. There are three types of feeding patterns, which is the casual feeding, the voracious feeding, and the normal feeding. Casual feeding is done when the rabbit feels relaxed and safe. It will eat in a relaxed manner. For voracious feeding, the rabbit will eat in a rapid manner because it feels unsafe. There may be danger or bad weather. It will eat everything in a straight line. For normal feeding, which is regularly done by the rabbit, 
they will eat everything in a zigzag manner to choose the best food that it wants to eat. Rabbits tend to defecate when it's eat, especially to fertilize the food. Rabbit flattens itself when it encounters that something that is scary. This is to make itself closer to the ground so that it will make itself less visible to the thing that is threatening it. This is also a sign to admit defeat. Notice how all four of its limbs are in contact with the ground. Rabbit prefers dark and narrow areas because it is afraid of the predators. In this area, it can be less visible to the predators. They tiptoe when they are not confident of the surrounding. A rabbit grunts when it feels that it can't escape or it is a signal to show that it is about to attack. It grows when it feels great pain or fright, feeling bossy or territorial behavior. It squeal, scream and whimper when it is in extreme pain or fright. There's basically three response to fear, which is freeze, flee and fight. The rabbit will first evaluate the situation. It will freeze when the predator is very far away from it or it is not in immediate threat. For fleeing away, it will be when the predator is very close to it and it will run away or when it sees an opening to escape. For fighting, it will fight when it is cornered. Rabbits have some vocalizations to display pleasure. Some so of them purr, they honk, sounds like that. So, what about rabbits? At their age, they're pretty much like teenagers in puberty. Well, they're driven by their hormones. So, they basically think of only two things. Food, members of the opposite sex. So, when this comes in, definitely, well, first thing that comes in is mounting. Well, what happens after mounting? Humping. My personal favorite. So, in addition, due to all the hormonal imbalance and stuff like that, the rabbits also end up doing things like they burrow a lot more. And, they like to mark their territory. They, do, they poop excessively. They piss, even, they piss on the floor even more. Basically, they make a mess of the whole place. But, it's just natural behavior. It's just rabbit behavior. Rabbits that have reached puberty become very horny creatures, especially if unneutered. They might harm inanimate objects like soft toys and in this case, Gerald's furry leg. This is normal behavior and it can be reduced or even eliminated if the rabbit is neutered. A rabbit may prefer to harm a particular person in the household because it has chosen that person as its mate. It might also chin that person or spray that person liberally with urine. So, what else do rabbits do during puberty? Well, the females get a lot more aggressive, pretty much like a girl having PMS. Also, they borrow, they borrow a lot more because maybe it's something about having children, they want a nice home, stuff like that. And they have odorous sand glands on the chin. They get them a lot. This is a rabbit chinning. It's a way of flirting with the owner. Sometimes, a rabbit may pluck a hair from the chest and the leg. 
It is to build the nest for cushioning and for warmth of the baby. This rabbit has built a nest out of a cardboard box. However, some rabbit not pregnant still plucks the hair from the chest and the leg. It is not to look more sexy for a sexy time. It is pseudo pregnancy. This means the rabbit think it pregnant when nobody wants sexy time with it. Sometimes a rabbit may fighting with each other. Why are you looking at me? I am recording. Don't you disturb me. No, no, you don't disturb me. You give me that. I broke your cock. Okay. That was called a fighting. But not fighting in a rabbit. A rabbit fighting for a food, a territory like the Kazakhstan and the Uzbekistan. It's also fighting for a sexy time with a girl rabbit. The rabbit will grunt, bite, and lunch at other rabbits. Sometimes it will bite another male rabbit, buttock, to make the rabbit move out of the way. So, you owner, if your rabbit blocking your way, you can bite its buttock, it will move too. When a rabbit is excited, it will show the excite by jumping on all four of its furry legs. Sometimes it would jump out of the window by an accident. Go away. Early in the morning and in the evening, the rabbit has many energy. It is also very happy, so it will express friskiness. What is a frisky? It means the rabbit would jump here or there or run around in a circle or any way it likes. This is friskiness in the rabbit. Note the sudden bursts of energy. Friskiness is an important form of exercise for rabbits. Older rabbits are less likely to express friskiness as they do not have as much energy as young ones. Observe the tremendous speed at which the rabbit darts around when it's frisky. A frisky rabbit may also climb trees and other household objects, oblivious to any potential hazards. A rabbit allowed to play outdoors should be kept under constant supervision as it is exposed to many threats and hazards. It is good for the rabbit because it is not only happy, it is also an exercise. Just like people, rabbits grow fat. Hey, don't disturb. I, I, I record it. Take out here. You want to convert video, you just convert. In cartoons like Bambi, thumping by rabbits is portrayed as an expression of happiness. However, this is untrue. Rabbits thump when they feel threatened as a way to warn others. Oh, stop it lah! As a way to warn other rabbits of the threat. They are not very vocal creatures, I would say. Oi! Hey! Hey! Nipping and biting. Rabbits nip and bite to show love and affection. And they also do it because they feel threatened or they want you to move out of the way. They use it as self-defense. Also, they nose bonk. They use it as a greeting, a show of approval and a request for attention. They can do an assortment of tricks too, actually! Oreo, come here. Rabbits flop to the side to show contentment. This occurs when they feel very secure actually! And when they 
they feel very comfortable in their environment. This is an example of a flopped over rabbit. Notice how serene he looks. See how he is stretching right about now. Isn't that Sunday morning? Time to go hunting. I know it, I know. Today we'll get lucky. We'll trudge to the forest. I cover some burrows. Light up a fire. Smoke out the dough. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If we get lucky, we'll find some kitties. They make good steel, in case you don't know. We should all go rabbit hunting. Bing bing bang, bing 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 bing. Wow wow wow. The stars are greater than the world. All the stars are greater than my little girl.